Hey guys, Brian here from American H2O. Uh, coming at you with another video. And today's video is going to be on the leak stop valve. Okay, so we just placed an order uh, recently for a reverse osmosis systems uh, that had a leak stop valve. And if you're not familiar with these valves, uh, they're pretty cool. Uh, not a lot of reverse osmosis systems uh, come with them, uh, and, and many things don't, like faucets and uh, different appliances, and uh, you know refrigerators, which have a very high tendency to leak at the valve at the fitting of the connection with the refrigerator from the feed line. So this is a quarter inch feed line, and what I want to demonstrate is uh, how these valves work. Okay, and um, in case you wondered, okay, so what we have here um, on our bench, we've got uh, a reverse osmosis system set up, okay, for some troubleshooting, okay, and <clears throat> the water comes in here. So let's just say this is this is the feed line to your reverse osmosis system, and it's underneath your sink, okay. Now what what I'm going to demonstrate is what's going to happen if you have a leak, okay. So we're going to turn this on. Okay, and as the water starts to fill up in this pan, what's going to happen is on the bottom of this valve, um, there's a little bit of silica gel, um, and what it will do is we'll detect moisture, and I'll show you guys what it will do once it does detect moisture. It's going to take just a minute for this pan to fill up a little bit, uh, demonstrating with a, uh, a water heater uh, catch pan. All right, now you can see that the water is coming up here. It's gonna start to absorb in the bottom of that valve. All right, and then as that goes up and gets absorbed, it's gonna take just a few seconds. At that point, that would be enough water under your sink to be annoying, um, but it wouldn't cause crazy damage. Um, I definitely recommend that you um, have a water alarm and we actually have an annual membership that comes with a water alarm. And now you can see that the pressure is slowing down. Okay. And what the water alarm would do is it would alert you of water being there. You would have to be home to detect it. But at this point, that's enough water there to be annoying. And I do recommend um, like a boot tray or something for under the sink because if you've had water on that particle board, uh, it just turns to, to mush and, uh, and then you have to replace it. So there you go. That's a demonstration of a reverse osmosis leak stop valve. And it's something that we try to install with, uh, with all of our new reverse osmosis systems going forward. Hope you liked the video. And make sure you subscribe and like. And if you're in Southeast Michigan, reach out to us. We'd be happy to help you out with any water quality concerns. Thanks a lot.